Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, the new version of Ubuntu has officially dropped this week. And uh, what I want to look at is, uh, we're going to spin this up in a virtual machine. I want to look at the viability of using this for my media PC for giving it a little bit of a test, a little trial run. So the concerns, of course, that I had is some of the issues going on with the Snap Store and stuff. And uh, after the last show, I was actually provided with the bug reports. And there's two specific bug reports. We're going to check the status of these guys in the official build. So one of these is that the Snap Store could not install deb packages. So if you install the deb package, you could not get it installed without doing some other fun, jazzy stuff. So we'll just try and download a random deb package and install it. See what happens. Yeah. Um, the other thing is um, if you go into the software store, the dev packages, uh, in other words, the, the distro curated packages were not showing up. So the Snap Store basically gives us pretty much exclusively, uh, we got pretty much exclusively Snap packages and nothing else. And that's kind of an issue because ideally what we would want to see, and I think where they're going, where they're trying to be, is they're trying to have a distro where in that one store you can install dev packages and snap packages. Like Linux Mint does, where they do they do the, the curated repository packages and then the flat packs. But where Linux Mint is going curated packages first and then snaps as the as the backup. And the same thing was going on with, uh, I think it was Arch Labs we looked at, where Arch Labs was kind of doing a similar thing. Like, hey, we're putting in flat pack support, but we would prefer you, that you have, you know, use the curated repository stuff first and then the flat pack as the backup. That's ideally what a distro should do, but Ubuntu is doing the opposite, doing the snap first and then the app packages is the extra and I think it should be the reverse so that's uh, one of the the issues and the concerns that I have uh, with the system because I do have concerns with the distribution and the management of snap packages as a whole but we're going to we're going to not look at that and look at the whole of the distribution because Ubuntu is a good distribution uh, outside of the the concepts there. So I went ahead and installed the new release, which is Ubuntu 20.04. Just downloaded it. Uh, it could have an update. I actually put this together, I don't know, maybe about 12 hours ago, about shortly after 1 a.m. or so. So we're going to log in here. We do have um, Ubuntu, which defaults to X, or we can go with Ubuntu on Wayland there if we want. So let's go ahead and uh, log on into the system. <clears throat> And see what we get. So again, where focus here isn't to do the distro reviewy type stuff that I usually do. What I want to do is I want to have a look at the feasibility of using the software. Understanding, I kind of want to start with re curated repository and then use Snap packages as I need to. So I did put together a short list of software that I generally use and put together. So uh, these are things I know Skype. Oh my God. But you know what? Unfortunately, I am a web developer and um, my clients unfortunately oftentimes use Skype. So it's something that I do need to have on at least a computer. I put it on the media PC so that it, I'm not getting uh, any ability for Skype to see anything important that I'm doing because the media PC you know, plays media. It's generally about it. All right, so here is the store. We'll go ahead and snap this guy over there. And so the question is, can we install packages? Uh, now, Skype does have, uh, is not going to have a dev package most likely, but it may have a snap package. So let's go ahead and see what we have. Um, all right, so over here, we do have some updates. There is something to the Ubuntu base. Um we're not going to mess with any of those updates right now. But hey, there's one good thing that was on my list. Is it easy to use for a new user? Hey, we got the pro update prompts for, for the system updates. The challenge is, of course, is we don't have any static in any place where that notification shows up anywhere else. It shows up, it pops up, but I don't have a place where I can say, okay, ignore that for now, but here it is on my little panel. Let's go ahead and click the button there and... 
uh, and update it now that I'm ready. So I have to go hunting for it. So that'd be nice if they were to give us something. And uh, Linux Mint does that. Manjaro does that. Um, even my uh, my Arch Lab system does that. I think that might be because I manually installed Pomuk. All right, so over here, let's have a... I, I wish I turned off that virtual box thing there, but oh well. So this one here is probably just going to give us a snap package. Um, so it, we do have the warning that it is unconfined. It can access all personal files and system resources. And welcome to my concern with snap packages, <laughs> because here is the trusted Microsoft having full reign access to your system. There's unfortunately not a way around that. So that's like the, I got to install it, but I'm going to, all right. Um, but I'm going to do something else here. Virtual machine, would you stop? Thank you. Okay, if I go near you, you can open. But now, what I do want to do is um, Skype. Though is something that they do provide a dev package for. So, what I would like to do is go. Do people still use Google? I'm searching for Skype. Okay, I guess it's the very first thing, but it looked like an ad. My God. All right. Um, let's see. Downloads. Okay, so here we have the options here. So we have it in the Snap Store. Now, this is one that if I was just legitimately doing it, I might actually go ahead and run the Snap Pack. Why not? Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to use this as my test for installing a deb. That's why I'm doing it this way here, more of a manual build. Um, no, I don't want to open it in an archive. Give me the, give me the folder. All right should be in our downloads folder. I think my virtual machine just froze on me. Come on, come on. No, maybe it's just Nautilus that froze on me. I think Nautilus just froze on me. Quit Nautilus. Nautilus. Welcome back, Nautilus. All right, so. Let's see if it works. So deb packages, it looks like they're not defaulting to a software installer, but it looks like it's probably going to work. Enter my super secret password. That's definitely not one, two, three. And it does appear to be installing. So uh, that's good. The system default is not set to install deb packages. Maybe that's for the better. Uh, there is going to be a way to change that. Uh, let's see if I can find that right off the... Uh, that there default applications. Let's see if deb is something I can actually change. Not there. I should be able to change it in mime types though. So if I were to right click properties open with, um, so recommended. Okay. So it did go, it did reset it to the default to install it. So doing that the first time reset that uh, so, okay, that's probably good. Next time we get a deb package, it's probably going to work for me. All right, so that's good. All right, so let's verify that Skype is installed. And it does appear that Skype is installed. So, yes, deb packages are installing just fine. Um, so no issue there. So that's resolved. That bug is, is no big deal. So Skype's there again, if I were doing this, just a quick build, I'd probably, I would definitely recommend installing the snap before I go and download something from the website, just for clarity. We just did that to have a look at, uh, the feasibility. All right. Next thing I want to do now, remember everything else I want to run as a, um, everything else now I want to run did my, okay, snap store search. Thank you. Everything else I want to run as a repository package, unless I don't have another option. So let's go ahead and look for Cody. Now this is where we'll have, uh, the bug that they have this mostly resolved. We do have Cody down here. What they don't have fixed is they don't have, uh, I, one thing I found is that they don't have all of the repo software in here yet. The other thing is when you do find repo software, oftentimes it does not contain the icon. I can deal with that. Uh, so you can see the source here is the uh, the source here is from the repositories, not from a snap. So let's go ahead and install Cody. All right. While we're doing this, though, I'm going to boot up a terminal and I want to see what 
snap uh, what packages are already here so we're going to do a snap list so right now we have core, gnome334, gtk common, snap store, and snapd are our listed snap applications. All right, that says Kodi is installed, and indeed I see that we have Kodi, and I am not going to click on the boot Kodi because that will go into a full screen mode. All right. Next application I use is I do use Evolution and Thunderbird. I use both applications. So here is Evolution. This is from the repository versions and the icon works. Everything's good. So evolution looks perfect. So, so far, so good. We're getting all of the software that I need. Uh, let's go ahead and keep letting that do its thing. It's working on the installation. Chromium. This is going to be an interesting application. One of the early concerns is that this guy here is probably the snap. Um, we have snap, 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 snap. So all we have is snap. But the sad thing is, even if we actually had the Chromium uh, from the apt, even the apt repository one installs the snap. Are you guys ready for that fun one? And that was uh, another concern that I had. So again, remember our snap list. We don't have anything there. Now we're going to do a sudo apt install Chromium. From the apt. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that's right. It's Chromium browser. Because Ubuntu also has Chromium. So you can see what it's doing here. It's installing the Chromium snap. Look at that. <laughs> so we're getting the snap installed, even though I would prefer it not install a snap, but that's kind of our choice. When that's done doing its thing, we'll go ahead and, and do that. Let's go ahead and have a look at what our options are for Caden Live. Okay, so we do have two Caden Lives listed. So the one with the pretty icon is probably the snap. And that is indeed the snap. Developed directly from KDE, so I'd be inclined to trust that one because it's coming directly from the, the developers. And then we do have KDE, uh, excuse me, Caden Live from the repository as well. So yes, it does appear as though the software that I want is in here. Do I care the icons are there? Eh. I would like him to be there, but you know what? I'm okay with that bug. That is a bug I can live with. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, and I don't want to try and install anything until Chromium's done installing itself. Um, that could could pose errors. Uh, let's see. We installed Evolution. So let's go ahead and have a look at what Evolution looks like and over here. Um, we're going to cancel the wizard, and here we have Evolution. Very nice. Okay. I don't know if this is stuck or what, but it's been stuck on 20%. Let's go ahead and let it go um, for a little bit. Let's see if there's anything else. While this is doing its thing, I want to see if there's anything else I can look at at the system uh, to verify anything else I might want to do. Okay, web, default web browser is Firefox. We have a couple options there. Calendar's defaulting to evolution. Uh, music is defaulting to rhythm box. Video is videos. Photo is photo image editor. So that is all good. So our basic backgrounds. Let's see the type of backgrounds we have available. All right. So we have, looks like we do not necessarily have a lot of them. We do have a nice, more of a light background and just a couple of other little things. Is that a duck? What is that thing we're looking at? It's intriguing. All right, go ahead and do that. All right, so we have our, we have a light, we have a standard, and we have a dark option. So that's actually good. We can choose that. We can auto hide the dock. I don't like the size of the dock, so let's go ahead and make the dock a little bit smaller. That's good. Notifications, so we can turn on or off notifications. Here's individual applications. So connectivity checking. Um, this is one to just kind of monitor if connections are working. If you're a privacy guy, you might want to turn that off. Location services. I do like on the install, you have the option to enable or disable the 
uh, lo notification services and the default is turned off. So if you just click next really fast, location services is turned off. Huge win. I think that that's an excellent way to handle that. Uh, file history, we can turn it on, turn it off, diagnostic stuff. All right, so let's go up and have a look at our snap list. And you can see that now we have Chromium installed as a snap, even though we actually install that as an app. We're going to leave that guy open. All right, Caden Live, let's go ahead and install the repo version of Caden Live. Sigil. I use Sigil for ebook editing. You can have a look at my channel at Writing Done Right if you want to learn more stuff about being a writer and author on Linux. Oh, wait, there you go. All right, so we have the repo version of Sigil. Good. That took ent entirely too long. <clears throat> All right. We got GIMP. GIMP, there we are. All right, so we have GIMP here. All we're seeing here for GIMP is, let me make sure GIMP's not installed already. It's not installed already. All right. So the only option that we had on that, let's try looking for GNU as well. Sometimes it'll be in the system as GNU image manipulator. That's snap. Looks like our really our only option for installing GIMP that I can see here is going to be from the Snap Store. Let's go ahead and do a sudo apt install GIMP. So GIMP is not in the store. Ooh, look at that. OBS Studios on my list. Let's see what we have for that. Snap, 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 snap. All I'm seeing is a snap for that. Let's go ahead and do a search directly for OBS. That's still our snap. This may not actually be in here in the repo though. Install apt install OBS Studio. So there's another one that's not in the Snap Store that um, is in the repository. We're just going to look at one more. We're going to look at VLC. Let's see what VLC is doing because that's actually a, a big one as well. So we have VLC here and we have VLC here. So VLC. This one is going to be the repository one, which is already installed. This one's going to be the snap version. So it does appear as though, for the most part, um, for the most part, a lot of the software is in the store. There's a couple odds and ends that are not there yet, and uh, you know, for whatever reason. So for the most part, though, I can actually get everything running as as I need. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure HTOP is not installed. Let's go ahead and um, install it. So sudo apt install HTOP. So we're running right now on 1.3 gig with the software store running and stuff like that. All right, so there's that, there's that. So with that drop down, we're at 1.2. Now what I might want to do is just reboot the system. Um, rebooting the system will actually give us a better indication of how the system runs. So let's do a sudo reboot and see how the system runs right on the, on the boot up. Now, there's a few other packages I'm, I'm going to want to install to, to test this out. Um, obviously, LibreOffice is already installed as a repo. Uh, I'm going to want to install KeePass XC and uh, maybe a few other odds and ends. But I think what I might do is I want to give it a chance to run it on hardware and see how it's going to work for me. So let's 
<clears throat> log in there, and then we'll just kind of boot up a terminal from there. Apparently, oh, there it is. Okay, so apparently I'm forgetting. No, Skype, go away. Nobody asked you to start up. Okay. All right, we're running at eight, 882 megabytes, but please remember that Skype tried to start up in the way. So we're under a gig, which is good. Um, it's running pretty nicely. Um, so that's actually good. We have good attractive theming set up here. We have... Most of the apps I'm going to want to install, in fact, I didn't have to install anything except Chromium as a snap package that I didn't want to. Uh, so that's actually good. Uh, I do wish we had the option to get uh, Chromium not as a snap package easily, at least. And everything else is good. Look at that. A startup disk creator. That's neat. Oh, cool. Make a startup disk. Try or install Ubuntu from a removable disk. Hmm. Nice. That's a cool new feature. That's cool. Uh, we have GIMP installed, so of course we did GIMP through the terminal so that we got a dev version. I guess there were a couple packages that uh, we should have been able to install through the Snap Store, but we were not able to. But for the most part, it looks like this is pretty good. So I think what I might do is uh, throw this on a USB drive and run it for a few weeks and uh, see how it runs. Uh, I want to give it the give it the benefit of the doubt and uh, do a more comprehensive review after a while. So it does appear as though they do have some of the major bugs that I was concerned about worked out uh, in time for launch. We just need to you know, get those icons patched up and I'm sure that that's coming on down the pipeline. It's so much more important to get them functioning rather than to get the icons back up. But you know, that's good. So it's moving in a good direction. So I, I think I might actually give this a try for a little bit and see what happens. So uh, let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts. How is this going to work for you? Let me know all that in the comments down below.